Good morning, this is Steffi, and I'm back with some more weird stuff that I bought on the internet. Um, before I get on with this package, uh, which came today, uh, it's the second package of the uh, ones that I bought off of Etsy. Um, I'd like to update on my last video, uh, that sphere, uh, Upon closer inspection is actually a bead, but I'm still gonna I'm still gonna put it with my sphere collection because I have a pretty extensive sphere collection. Um, this T, uh, which is a critique on twinings and not uh, not the previous Etsy seller, this T tastes like uh, sunscreen, and I do not recommend uh, most twinings. Uh, teas are very good. This one. This one is not, not nice. Um, do not drink it. Um, so this package I got from The Maiden and the Cauldron on Etsy. It was $10 USD and the shipping was included, which um, I enjoyed quite a bit. Um, uh, it comes in a purple bubble mailer. And it's real nice and squishy. I, I'm pretty sure it protected whatever is inside pretty well. Um, I believe that this is a uh, half uh, or a quarter cup scoop. But it looks to be about the same size as the last one. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. Because as we know, I love silly shiny things. Or, or anything that smells good. I don't have a very good sense of smell, so anything that I think that smells good, I'm pretty enthusiastic about. Um, first off, the uh, packaging is very nice. Oh, they have a they have a business card. I love those. I love business cards. Uh, please always send me your business cards. I, I love those. Um, I especially like it when there's uh, some some nice. Uh, art that comes along with it. It can be generic art. I like ribbons too. Uh, I consider this to be a part of the entire package. Um, ribbons are good for a lot of things. Some nice, uh, nice feeling, uh, what do you call this? Tissue paper. I wanted to call it wrapping paper, but that's not what it is. That's not what it is. And again, these are the these are the uh, paper scissors. We're not we're not going to use the fabric scissors for this. I'm sure it deserves it, but we're not going to. Oh, there's an additional bag. Bags are always good. Oh no, there's a knot. Oh no. We're not equipped with for knots right now. It's after work. I'll just have to fix it later. Please forgive me for cutting strings. Oh. Oh, lots of beads. Let's get that so you can still see it. No, you can't see it. Now you can see it. Um, charms. Oh, another crystal point. I like those. Oh, opalite. So opalite is not opal, um, but it is a type of glass, and it's incredibly difficult to manufacture. So even though this is 100% an artificial stone, I like it a lot. Oh, some more carnelian. I like carnelian. This is the time of the year for carnelian. Obsidian. Yes. I don't know what this is, but I like it. Probably chalcedony. Probably quartz. This looks to be dyed, but it might not be. Oh, it's a bead. Lots and lots of chips. Oh. Here's some more, uh, they call this, uh, angel iridescence. 
Um, that's an application they usually do on quartz. Oh, I got two mushrooms. Ooh. Dalmatian Jasper and some Chalcedony. That's exciting. A star. Oh, it's dyed halite. As we discussed in the last one, I like dyed halite. It's very nice. Uh, more dyed halite. Oh, this might be... No, it's dyed halite. That's okay. Dyed halite is fine. It's more tiger eye. My best friend, if you're looking at these, I'm probably going to give you a lot of this tiger eye the next time I see you. And I don't know when we're going to meet. It's still the panini. Lots of chalcedony. Lots of chalcedony. Uh, her chimer diamond. Oh, this one has been drilled through so that you can use it as a bead. Interesting. A bell. Oh. Ooh, a carnelian star. Lots of chalcedony. Lots of quartz. Oh! It's a jasper, uh, it's a jasper mushroom. I lucked out with the mushrooms today. What is this? Oh, more dyed halite. I do like dyed halite. I like all these, um, all these cute little charms. Ooh, this dyed halite looks very much like turquoise. Oh, it's another mushroom. That's an exciting amount of mushrooms. Oh, and an iridescent glass bead. Lots of glass beads. Some of these might be crystals. This one looks to be bone. Oh, two bone, two bone beads. Is this glass or carnelian? I'm going to hold it up to the light. Might be glass. There seem to be inclusions, so it, it might not be glass. Oh. This is a very nice piece of obsidian or smoky quartz. There you go. Dendritic, uh, something. Oh, another glass bead. I lucked out with the glass beads. Oh, what's some amethyst beads? That's exciting. Hmm. I don't know what I'd rate this. But there's lots of lovely, silly glass beads. A bell. Some little mushrooms. You could definitely give some of these away as, as a present to friends, uh, to, to strangers that you meet on the street. I can see that being a fun activity. Um, hmm. If I were to give this an out of ten, it'd be at least a nine. And I'd probably definitely buy from these guys again. But we're not going to. We're going to buy from someone that we haven't seen yet. Uh, spread our money around. Support support uh, small businesses. Um, I'm definitely going to be giving them a five on Etsy. Because uh, of all these silly cute glass beads. And the tiny mushrooms. And the ribbon. The presentation was extremely nice, and it was well worth the price of, uh, again, $10 USD with shipping and handling included, which I always like because I'm not good at math, so when other people are good at math, I'm, I'm, always, I'm always very enthusiastic about that. Um, I'm sure it's something that a lot of people don't think a lot of, but I'm not good at math so more points to anybody who is i suppose now if you want somebody to remember uh um what a comic book character said in an issue i'm your i'm your lady i'm your lady um anyways this has been sefi thank you for watching my uh, silly video 
on silly tchotchkes that I bought on the internet. I hope you're having a lovely day and I hope you get half as much enjoyment out of anything this week that I got out of this tiny silly box of silly, silly mushrooms and bells. Have a good day.